On our last scholarship, we were doing villain routing. We did SVI and router on a stick. We configured router on a stick without having talked about router at all. So in this lesson, we're gonna talk about the router and do configuration of a router. Welcome to another exciting episode of Technology for All Academy, an academy that teaches information communication technology networking for free. To mention but a few, we have Cisco and Microtik series, and we'll be doing other vendor series in the future. For those who don't know me, my name is Taban Makobe, the founder of Technology for All Academy. In our lesson today, we'll be doing router configuration, and we will also configure static routing. So what is a router? A router is a layer 3 device. Layer 3 on TCP IP, it's internet. And layer 3 on OSI model, it's network layer. That's where a router belongs. A switch is a layer 2 device. I know you'll be saying that we have a layer 3 switch. A layer 3 switch is a switch that can do routing. And in order to do routing, we know that we have to sacrifice the switch port by doing no switch port. And also we have to enable routing by giving the command IP routing. What is the work of a router exactly? A router is there to connect networks and it blocks broadcast messages. So if you are saying a router is there to connect us to other networks, how does it know about those networks? So for it to know about those networks, you as a network engineer, you have to tell it about those networks. You have to configure it. So a router knows about directly connected networks. It knows about the networks that you configured by doing static routing and lastly by doing dynamic routing. Those are three ways a router can know about networks. So on our last lesson, we did router on a stick. And when we did router on a stick, we configured VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. And VLAN 10, we gave it network. 10.10.10.0 and VLAN 20 we gave it network 10.10.20.0 and we also had a network 10.10.1.1 which belongs to VLAN 1. So without wasting time, let me open my topology or my working place and as you can see, I have added two more routers and a switch here and this is what we did on our last lesson. So we know that from the last lesson, our networks were able to reach each other. And to show that, let me ping 10.10.1.1 and see what happens. Okay, the packets are going through all of them. Let's ping 10.10.1.100 and see what happens. We lost one packet, but the other packets went through. And let's ping the last one. Let's make it 20 dot 20 and see what uh, what will happen lost one packet and the other packets went through so the re there's a reachability within these networks so in our lesson today we are going to configure we have our main building we are going to configure a uh, supporting building one and supporting building two and we're gonna configure static routing between our networks so without wasting time let me go to supporting building one. Let's open command line. Enter. And then I'll give the command enable. Configure terminal. And I'll give the command interface. First ethernet. Actually interface gig zero slash zero. Enter. And IP address. I'll make it 10.10.1.254. With subnet mask of 255.255. .255. 255.255.0 enter and I'll give the command no shutdown so that we can power up our interface and let's give the command do show IP interface brief as you can see our interface is up the status is up and the protocol is up let me give the command do show IP route to see the network that our router knows about and our router knows about 10.10.1.0 .10 network 
it's connected to it and as you can see there's a, a local address 10.10.1.254 .10 let's exit now let me give my router a name and the command to give my router name is host name and i'll give it sb1 router and to create security for exact mode the command is enable secret one two three four five six that's my password enter and i want to and i want to configure my router for remote logging and the command will be line vty zero zero to four enter password one two three four five six enter login enter and i'll give it the command login synchronous enter Login synchronous is for example when uh, you do terminal monitor on a remote login you will get status messages for example if an interface goes down you will get a message that an interface is down and if you are busy typing that message it will break whatever you are typing into and the, the second part will be after the message so if you did a uh, login, login synchronous while you are typing and the message appears the first part of the message will synchronize with the last part that you are typing and the the, the the command will be one command it won't be one part of the command the message and the last part of the command it will be like if maybe you are typing interface vlan one it will be interface vlan one it won't be interface and then the message and then vlan one and lastly i'll give it exact timeout let's make it five minutes that's when you didn't close your command line interface if five minutes reaches without any command being given then the router will log itself out okay enter and exit let's do the same commands for our console port line console zero enter okay exact timeout five login synchronous password one two three four five six and login and let's exit and i'll give the command service password encryption as we know our line vty and console port password will be in clear so if you give the command service password encryption it will encrypt your password but it will give them level 7 encryption and then now let's do banner MOTD message of the day and whatever character you type after the MOTD you must end with it let me give my message unauthorized unauthorized login is prohibited stay away please enter and five again now let's give the command do show run and we can see what we have configured so far and then i'll give the command do show ip interface brief and let's go to interface gig zero slash one and one last thing in interfaces of a router cannot belong to the same network for example let me show you a practical of what i'm, I'm meaning let's give this interface 10.10.1. let's say 2 for example 255.255.255.0 enter as you can see it's telling you that 10.10.1.0 overlaps with geek gigabit ethernet zero slash zero so i've just proved my point that interfaces of of a router won't belong to the same network so let's give our interface geek one an ip address ip address 192.168.1.1 255.255.255.255 okay, zero enter and i'll give the command no shutdown to power our port then let's end our configuration and on exam normally the command that they want it's copy copy running configuration 
startup configuration enter and then when it says the destination file startup config you just press enter you don't say yes or, or something because if you type uh, with the y or yes then you'll be naming your startup configuration whatever you've typed so just press enter now let me go to my supporting building to enter my router is partially configured so my password is one two three four five six enter and then i'll give the command enable enter to get into privilege mode the password is one two three four five six enter configure terminal enter and then interface gig zero slash zero enter give the command no shutdown and i'll give the ip address ip address 172.16.1.1 the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 enter and i'll exit okay and i'll give the command interface gig 0 slash 1 enter and i'll give the command no shutdown to power our port up then i'll give the ip address 192.168 okay i'll give the command ip address 1 92.168.1.2 with subnet mask 255.255.255.0 enter and let me type end enter now let me give the command show ip root okay let me adjust my waking place a bit we know about the network 172.16.1.0 and 192.168.1.0 we don't know about the 10 network so we can reach the 10 net let me minimize my working place and now i want to go to sb1 okay press enter password 1234567 enter enable password 1234567 enter and let's see the routing table show ip root let me adjust it a bit and as we can see, it knows about 10.10.1.0 network and 192.168.1.0 network. Okay, I'll go to global configuration mode. And I wanted to know about the 172.16.1.10 network. So I'll give the command IP root 172.16.1.0 subnet mask 255 dot two five five dot two five five dot zero and then we'll be doing it via one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot two enter which is the statement is saying our ip route i want to root ip root i want to root to one seventy two dot sixteen dot one dot zero which has the subnet mask of two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero and I want to go to it or to know about it via the network that knows about it. And that address that knows about it is 192.168.1.2. Okay. And then let's do do show IP root. And then as we can see, now we know about the 10 network. We know about static IP static route that we created 172.16.1.0 network and we also know about 192.168.1.0 we also need to know about the VLAN networks that we created the 10.10.10.0 network and 10.10.20.0 network so to create a route for them I'll give the command IP root 10.10.0 10.0 with subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and my next stop will be 10.10.1.1 enter and I'll also do the same for dot 20 network dot 20 then enter now let's do do show IP root and then as we can see now we also know about the VLAN networks via static routing so let me type end and save my configuration okay let me use copy run copy running configuration startup configuration enter 
and I'll say enter again and exit okay we are done with this router we are done with supporting building one so now let's go to supporting building two we open command line interface press enter password is one two three four five six enter and able one two three four five six now let me give the command configure terminal to go into global configuration mode and i'll give the command do show ip interface nope don't want to see the ip interface brief really do show ip root okay let me adjust my working place as we can see we know about 172.16.1.0 network and 192.168.1.0 network so we want our router to also know about the VLAN networks and also know about the 10.10.1.0 network and to do that i'll give the command ip root 10.10.1.0 with subnet mask 255. 255.255.0 and the next stop will be 192.168.1.1 enter and i'll do the same for my vlan network which is dot 10 enter and dot 20 enter now let me give the command do show ip root and as you can see we now know about the 10 network 172 network and 192 network so let me tap end and then i'll save my configuration and exit lastly let's go to our main building open command line interface password is one two three four five six enter and i'll tap enable to get into exact mode password one two three four five six enter and let's give the command show ip root okay, let me adjust my working place as we can see we only know about the 10 networks which is 10.10.1.0 network 10.10.10.0 network and 10.10.20.0 network okay let me go to global configuration mode and i'll give the command ip root 192.168.1.0 network with subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and my next stop is 10.10.1.254 enter and i'll also do the same for 172.16.1.0 network ip root 172.16.1.0 with subnet mask 255.255.255.0 next stop 10.10.1.254 enter and let me give the command do show ip root and then as you can see now we also know about 172.16.1.0 network and 192.168.1.0 network via static root okay let me tap end and save my configuration and i'll exit now to verify that static routing is working i'm going to ping laptop 172.16.1.10 from my laptop 8 which is on the network of 10.10.1.0 let me open laptop 8 go to desktop and command prompt and then let's ping 172.16.1.10 and let's see what will happen okay the moment of truth we lost one packet when we did ping for the first time we lost all packets but then when you ping for the second time all four packets went went through okay let me ping it again as we can see all packets went through we can ping from 10.10.1.100 to 172.16.1.10 and then to verify again we can also use our vlan 10 laptop okay desktop command prompt let's ping 192.168.1.2 
enter. And as you can see, all our packets went through. And with that, that brings us to the end of our lesson for today. If you found this lesson informative, please do share with someone who will also benefit from the information that we did today. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so that you can be notified whenever we drop another lesson. With that, let me love and leave you. Have a nice day. Thank you.